Hello and welcome to Writing a Business Case, some top tips from me, Alicia Riddell. I'm an occupational therapist and I've been working around digital innovation for some time. The Castle Trust asked me if I would share some of my top tips. So here they are. So welcome and today's journey is going to be by sea. So we're going to explore some choppy waters, hold on to your hats, Make sure you're tethered onto the boat. The well, first thing I want you to do is really think about where you're going. What is that destination? So I want you to just take a moment and close your eyes. There it is. You've opened your laptop or pinged your phone and there it is, the email saying success. How are you feeling? Tired? exhausted, excited, anxious? Has it been worth it? Are you ready to go, more importantly? Okay, so let's go. Well, actually, where are we going? One of the things you really need to think about is being clear about what is your ambition. If you're clear about this, it really will carry you through the stormiest, choppiest waters, the times when you just hit nothing, tumbleweed, no movement, no wind, you're just stuck, or you're heading to the edge of the world and there's a massive sign saying, there be dragons. So the main thing you need to do before you leave shore is to make sure that your ship shape. Check the boat. Never leave port without making sure that you're seaworthy. Check every detail before you start work on the bid or the business case. Please read the small print. Even the T's and C's can be useful. Check in with the funder and make sure that your idea will deliver exactly what is needed. Or if not, have a discussion. What about the crew? The most successful crews, in my experience, have a strong team. They're people who know each other's strengths and weaknesses and know that when the times are tough and the, we will work as a team and we'll get the job done. Do you have access to those skills? You're going to need them. Plotting a course? Well, navigating the pitfalls and getting safely to your destination is rather important and it requires a clarity of direction of travel and you're going to have to be flexible but occupational therapists are really good at that. Um, you need to think about your leadership skills and really play to your strengths as well because when you're tired and you're busy you're going to need everybody's trust, you're going to need to be a bit of a terrier, a bit tenacious and you may need to stop and take to the crow's nest and just have a look around, make sure everybody's still traveling in the right direction. Remember the devil's in the detail. People will be scrutinizing this with a critical eye, appraising what you've written. So write down everything, make sure you've got lots of notes, maybe even have a notepad by the side of the bed if you have some late night inspiration. Make to-do lists, prioritize, do your research and don't forget anything important. Keep going get back to the uh, business case or the bid guidelines or whoever's given you the parameters for writing this document. Check everything. Try and be as accurate as you can. If you're not sure, you're going to have to couch it in language that conveys that easily or leave it out. But keep it real. Brief the crew. And take feedback positively. Don't be defensive. It's going to be, you know, ups and downs. Some things will work brilliantly and other things you'll just think we're never going to get past this. But be tenacious. Keep at it. So now what? Well, making it steady is really important. You need a plan of attack. So don't type straight into an online system. That's a nightmare. Sign up for webinars, download forms. If you do control P, that will print it and you can print PDF so that you've got a version you can share around and get people's views on. Set up a Word doc or an Excel spreadsheet with all the sort of key things in that you might need to answer. Um, keep typing your responses in and keep changing and editing and, and improving them. Go away and come back. 
So chip away at it and never do it last minute. And also really think about your well-being. Captain needs cake, may need cups of tea, uh, and you may need a, a bit of a walk and a bit of peace and quiet away from it. Think about your language. Keep it easy for the reviewers to read. Don't use jargon and get other people to spot your jargon for you. Friends are very hand handy for that. Um, they will have lots of things to look at. They're going to be ploughing through these and you need to make your language stand out. Always type acronyms in full first. If you get tight on words, just, just avoid them. It's a real bugbear with people. Um, and just tell people what they're asking for. Go back to the headings that are in the form or the application or whatever it is and check you're actually answering the questions. OK, now it's time for a bit of an activity on your part. So you might want to get a pen and paper. So write down the answers to these questions and you won't be able to do it in the time that I'm going to um, speak you through this presentation. But you can come back to the, the PDF presentation um, and work on them. So the first thing to do is to really acknowledge you can have all these really uh, masses of little voices in your head. Um, write down every single thought on a big sheet of paper. Now write down a set of responses to those thoughts. And for those of you that are familiar with CBT, this might sound familiar, but it really works. You have got to address that conversation, that narrative that is going on in your head before you start. Get it down on paper and do it like you're interviewing yourself. And then step back, look at it and pick out maybe a couple of things that have really hit home and what you've realised. The next question is to really think about um, what you are going to put in your answers, your response, your document. So fold that bit of paper with all those thoughts and arguments and put it under your chair, put it to one side. Now I want you to really think about what format you work best in. So it might be a Word document or it might be an Excel spreadsheet. Just depends. Uh, might be a PowerPoint presentation anything that works for you and just hoover up everything you think you're going to need to put in there. So having really thought about that, we are going to move on to the next stage, which is very much about you thinking about yourself. So two top tips when you're working under pressure. It's all about you. This may be a really hard job on top of the day job. But when others are looking to you to respond to all their answers and questions, you need to be ready. So plan some time out just to sit and think. Look out the window, go for a walk. The other thing I would say is the Stephen Covey um, statement, which has always stayed with me when I've been doing this, is start with the end in mind. Keep your eye on the prize and scan the horizon. Don't be afraid to pause or stop. And sometimes thinking is vital and timing is vital. So you might want to think about whether you actually go ahead now or whether there's a later, a later time that you might, uh, might be better doing an application. So do a go, no go check in. And remember that the Casson Trust has lots of resources to help you because they want you to succeed. So make it easy for the reviewers to understand why this is mission critical for you and use a simple project plan to help them get from A to Z. Even if you're a bit lastminute.com yourself, your partners may not be, so don't stress them out. Identify who it is in your team that does the detail and make sure there's enough time for them to check it for you. OK, that's it. Thank you for coming on board today. And remember, target your destination, plot your course and make sure you, your vessel, the crew and your maps are shipshape.